inside the mu music video and movie store. And you never can tell what kind of stuff you guys are going to have to look and listen for in a place like this. Now, Ariel, Josh, you guys ready to break loose and win some cool yeah. prizes? Yeah. All right. We've hidden a total of 16 coins, like this one, at four different areas in the store. Now showing at the Treasure Mall Theater, it's Treasure Mall, the movie. Well, and that's showing the coins aren't. You'll have to dig for those. Next, groove on some tunes from these Power Blaster speakers. Right now, they're playing Pennies from Heaven. Then, find your favorite movie here. My favorite's Attack of the Killer game show host from Mars. <laughs> then, unravel this mess of tapes. You may wind up with coins. Those must have been real hits. Um, now, you'll take turns searching for coins at these four places. You'll have 25 seconds at each spot. Josh, you'll go first and you'll start searching through the sign. When you find a coin, put it in here. The coins must be in the bucket to count. When you're done there, then it'll be Ariel's turn to go to the next spot. When you're done at all four places, we'll count up your coins. The number of coins you have determines your prizes. In other words, the more coins you get, the better your prizes are, okay? Now listen to this. If you can clean out the store by finding all 16 coins, you're going to walk out of here with a sharp, new 35-millimeter camera, a slide projector, and your very own video writer. All right. Okay, guys. So, Josh, if you're ready, let's have 25 seconds on the clock. On your mark, get set, go! Turn up! Good work. All right. Well, let's come on over here, guys. We're going to count up your coins and see how many you got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight coins. Way to go. Ed, tell them what we get for eight coins today. For eight coins, it's a game of pool on a moment's notice. Just open your attache case and rack them up with your very own mini pool table. Ready for action when you are. And have a blast at Six Flags Magic Mountain for the wildest rides in Southern California. Colossus, Shockwave, Freefall, and now Ninja, the Black Belt of Roller Coasters. Furnished by Six Flags Magic Mountain from Treasure Mall. Oh, you guys like some cool stuff, guys. So for all the fun and all the excitement and all that stuff, Come right back. We're, we'll be here. <laughs> Come on, guys. The hottest shoes on the street. Check out Airwalks. Bright colors and wild patterns are made for daring feats. Airwalk shoes for a way of life. Now, back to more fun on Treasure Mall. All right. Thanks, Ed. All right, Josh and Ariel, you guys won the first round. You're sitting on top of eight coins and really cool prizes. You got the mini pool table, and you get to go to Magic Mountain now. That's yeah. really cool. Now, Mark and Marion, it's your turn to come from behind and try and get to that next door. Remember, it's still anybody's game. The team with the most coins at the end of the game gets to go on to the next door and then goes on to the try and bust open the incredible treasure chest, all right? Yeah. Okay. 
Well, here we go. Here's our first question, guys. Here's the situation. You're playing outside, and you find a bag full of money. Did most sixth graders say that they would, A, keep it a secret and spend it, <laughs> B, try to find the owner, or C, share it with their friends? What do you think, guys? What would these sixth graders do with a bag of loot? Mark and Marion thinking hard, but Marion and Josh are both agreeing on it, share it with their friends. Well, let's see what the answer is. It's A, spend it. So Marion and Josh are one point. Good job, guys. The score is one to nothing. Josh and Ariel pulling into it. Here we go. We asked third grade boys to name their favorite scene in a movie. Did the majority say A, the chase scene, B, the love scene, or C, the scary scene? What do they like, guys? What do those third grade boys like in a movie? Oh, Mark's disagreeing with, with everybody else in the chase scene, but they all think it's a scary scene. Well, let's see if they like to be scared. It's yeah, the scary scene. All right. That's one point for Marion and Mark, and it's three points for Ariel and Josh. Score is three to one. We asked fourth graders what they would do if they were standing in the middle of a long line in the school cafeteria and a classmate tried to cut in front of them. Did most say that they would A, let the kid in front of them, B, tell him to go back to the end of the line, or C, tell the teacher? What would fourth graders do about line jumpers, guys? Ariel's thinking hard. We, we're waiting for her answer patiently. Oh, wow, you know, they're agreeing. Marion's the only one that says tell the teacher. The rest of them would tell them to go back to the end of the line. Let's see what the answer is. Yeah. It's B. That means Josh and Ariel. You guys get to go to the store. Yeah. Good job, guys. Good job. Great job. You did it again. All right. Marion, Mark, you guys didn't get into a store today, but we really had fun hanging out with you, and we got some cool prizes for you anyways. So thanks for playing, guys. Right. Yeah. It's time to see which store you guys are headed to this time. Ed? No assembly required. Batteries not included. You're off to the toy and hobby store. Right. Whoa, thank you, Josh. Boy, we're going to the toy store. They got lots of yucky stuff in there. Come on, guys. They're looking for some really cool hobby shop slot kind of. Service merchandise gift certificate for all your family needs. Select famous brand name items from our catalog or at one of our many stores furnished by Service Merchandise. Time for more fun and games with Hal. All right. Okay, guys. Josh and Ariel, as you know, we've hidden a total of six. We have a total of 16 coins hidden at these four areas in the store. First, Jack in the Boxes with a little pop-up surprise for you. Then, keep on trucking and dig for treasure over here, guys. And, of course, coins is what you're looking for. Then, let's sink the Bismarck, or rather the Titanic, complete with smokestack, sort of. You know, that most people think it was an iceberg that sunk it, but smoking is bad. Look for coins in there, of course. <laughs> then, a relaxing dip in the pool. Uh, no diving, unless you're diving for coins, of course. Now, you'll, you guys know how to play. You'll search for the coins of these four areas. Let's have 25 seconds on the clock. Okay. Ready, set, go! Go, dig through there! Oh, she's got one. She's looking. 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 There you go. Put it in the bucket. There you go. I love that song.
Lightning within the eye of the storm creates stunning effects in a safely enclosed sphere of rare gases. Even responds to music of voice furnished by Rabbit Systems. And homework will almost do itself with the Commodore 64C computer. Let you play games, even make music from Treasure Mall. Hey. Okay, you guys did a great job. Not only did you get to both stores and win all those great prizes, but right now, because you guys have the most coins today, you guys get to go to the treasure chest. Yeah. Come on! The moment we've been waiting for to see if you guys can bust open the incredible treasure mall treasure chest filled with even more fantastic prizes. It's simple. We've hidden keys in all these boxes, but only a few of them will open the chest. You have 30 seconds to open as many boxes as you can. When you find a key, yeah, when you find a key, put it in the bucket. It must be in the bucket to count. When you're done searching, when your time's up, we'll count up all your keys, and then we'll open them up, and we'll see if it opens the chest. If it does, you win all the prizes inside, including that trip to San Diego, a remote control car and much much more as they say okay so let's have 30 seconds on the clock okay you guys geared up yeah okay on your mark get set go go We got three keys, guys. Now let's see if one of them opens the chest. Wait right over there, guys. Here we go. The first key. No. Oh. Okay. The second key. Let's put this one. No. The third and last key. week-long San Diego blowout. You'll stay at the beautiful Vicam Hotel on Harbor Island in San Diego with both ocean and city views. Enjoy cool accommodations and delicious dining furnished by Trust House Ford Hotels. And no trip to San Diego is complete without a romp in fabulous SeaWorld. We've got tickets for four to SeaWorld on world-famous Mission Bay featuring superstar killer whale Shamu in his brand-new six-million-gallon stadium furnished by SeaWorld. And a Veriflex six-foot single-wing surfboard with channels so the young and the young at heart can enjoy water sports furnished by Veriflex. Hit the road with a Shinsei radio-controlled vehicle with eight full functions. The controls in the palm of your hand for the greatest in radio-controlled fun. Furnished by Shinsei Corporation. Plus this Panasonic portable AM FM stereo cassette player and these replicas of old-fashioned gumball and peanut machines. A treasure chest full of prizes right. from Treasure Mall. All right, good job, guys. Can somebody tell me how they fit Shamu in there? Anyways, forget it. Okay, uh, the mall's closing, guys. That means it's time to say goodbye. Uh, yeah, but I had a great time, and I know you guys had a great yeah. time. And we'll see you guys all next time at Treasure Mall. All right. Bye-bye. Wait, bye-bye, guys. Travel arrangements provided by Travel Savers, the nation's leading chain of independent travel agencies. Consult your yellow pages for the Travel Savers nearest you. And ask for our specially priced cruises. <laughs> Monday morning at 7.30, those two talking birds, Heckle and Jekyll, bring all their friends to weekday mornings. And beginning in two weeks, Crime Fighters from the Future come to WVAH-TV 11 to battle every kind of evil in the universe. They're tops, starting Monday, September 19th on your Once to Watch.